Nikon Z9, 24-70, 2.8. Nikon ZF, 28, 2.8. Guys, I still sound like kind of like weird because I had a cold. Um, Gluten-free cornflakes with oat milk and bananas. Manifesting. Okay, we're gonna try this again. We're, we have oatmeal, and over here we're gonna put it in the pan and wash it so that the sugar goes away. And then over here, we already tried it, but I had to throw it away because the brown sugar one had like effing congealed coagulated sugar. Okay, not congealed, but it was like stuck sugar. So we're gonna do this again. Also, I have my little mini garden over here, my little micro garden. We're out here, she out here thriving. I'm gonna do laundry and then go get my free festive cherry smoothie from Smoothie King. Pretty sure it's plain. It's a little too plain, if you ask me. This is plain AF, bruh. Uh. <clears throat> it worked. It worked. It's clean. It's good. It's sugar-free. I certify it sugar-free, basically. Thank you, Jesus and God, for blessing me with this meal so much. Amen. Finna watch YouTube like the iPad kid I am. You know. You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? It's like everyone judges iPad kids, and they forget that there's a whole thing called a TV dinner. Like, people really used to be sitting at the TV. B, doing the same thing, eating their food, watching the TV. A little hot. Mm, it's good though. The sugar, I don't know if it was fully washed away, but mostly. It's pretty plain to me. I put peanut butter. And I'm enjoying it. It's good. Not my... I need a fart or something. That sounds crazy. Doing laundry, by the way. Chill vibes. So this formula is largely unchanged. We got the turbinado, which is... um. Like sugar substitute, we got that removed. We got, um, what else removed? Um, I think we got the dates removed. And I think, and I, we did swap the, <clears throat> the, the non-vegan, the whey protein for vegan protein. So here's the deal with this one. This is festive cherry and it's largely unchanged from the original formula. And the reason why is because usually substitutes are free but today i said like can we get substitutes on the free drink and she said no you'll have to pay and so i'm like oh dang this is serious uh so they said yeah like you would have to pay so i'm like you know what no what's free can i do any of the swaps for free i even said like oh it's because i'm filming a video and so i said it was free I don't even know why I said that. I had nothing else to say because I don't have money right now. So basically, she ended up doing it for free, but only one substitute. So let's see what it's like. It's pretty icy, not too creamy. Not too sweet. The ice is not as fine as usual. Absolutely, I taste the cinnamon. Mm. Something blocked the straw, it's probably ice. Mm -hmm. Who knows if it's healthy or not, but it's pretty good. I hope it doesn't have any milk in it. I don't think so. It's good. Does anyone know what gives it this texture? It's kind of like, um, how do I describe it? Chewy. I don't know how to describe it. 
I'm drinking a cold drink. It's kind of cold outside and I was just recently sick. But you know what? Smoothie King, thank you for making your drinks thick. This, you, it's not some watery stuff that you finish in five seconds. <clears throat> this is the smallest one they have, the 12 ounce. They don't even sell this normally. This is like, maybe they sell this in a kid's size or something, I don't even know. But um, probably, that's probably why they have the cups for the free drinks at 12 ounces. Let me tell you, this is good though. I'm, I'm enjoying it. It looks kind of like uh, potted meat, <laughs> which is like Vienna sausage. <laughs> Yo, Nami, coffee. <laughs> Com coughing and laughing at the same time. LMAO. <laughs> To anyone out there getting sugar, the sugar substitute, turbinado, and date, bro, both of them, that is on some sugar addiction type-ish. That is on some effing, might as well drink Coca-Cola type-ish, because that's wild to me, boo. If you're eating this as like a health supplement, something healthy, you're gonna wanna reduce the juices as much as possible and get rid of that turbinado BS. Who even knows what the F that is, but I don't care, don't get it. And then, <laughs> I'm freezing. <laughs> um, yeah, just keep a low sugar, boo. I mean, there's obviously demand for sweet drinks if they're selling them that way, you know? But I just think, like, you gotta be responsible with yourself. If you're drinking this casually, and a small one, okay, fine. Sugar, whatever. If that's your thing. But if you're drinking the large one, as a health supplement every day, bro. <coughs> you ain't finna wanna add all that sugary ish. Come on, boo. I'm like, what's that light behind me? Ah, okay. Ooh, ooh. My tongue looks dirty AF because I haven't brushed my teeth. Anyway, let me go home right now. So, technically, I stole from Smoothie King. The reason why is because, I mean, the girl didn't tell me. <coughs> But the thing got declined. She ended up charging me for the substitution. And you know what? Last time they didn't charge me anything for the substitutions. And that's because I made quite a few. But this time she did charge me for the one substitution I made. And then I made two removals of the dates and the turbinado. But um, she did charge me for that one. And when I scanned my thing, that's what scans the points, right? but that's also what charges the card on your file and it's like oh dang she didn't tell me anything in person but i'm like so you're telling me that i technically stole i mean if i add money to my cash app card then it'll go through right it was a dollar something but she should have said dang now i feel like dang it was so good but dang but I feel bad that I don't even have a dollar right now, bro. Like, it happens though, it happens. Whether I stole from Smoothie King or not, I'm loving my lentils and I finished doing laundry today. Yes. Um, reactivated my Instagram mic, my premium Insta that I was so resentful of, but like, I gotta make money, you know? And I gotta stop like thinking like, poorly of the way that I need to make money right now if that's the way I can make money. And then another thing is um I downloaded Grinder and I'm gonna just promote. I gotta make it happen, bro. I gotta make it happen. I have a camera to get. I have um you know things I wanna buy, healthy foods I wanna eat and um a family to support and maybe this might not do it right away but it'll help me help myself to help others. I got my contacts on. I didn't even tell you guys, I used the last contact pair that I have for today just because, oh my gosh, like just thinking of how beautiful the, <coughs> the walk today was, is just amazing. Like everything looked so beautiful and not HD, it looked 4K. And you know what? Let me show you the contact lens boxes. It reminds me of I mean, they all have to do with optics, right? But it just reminds me of Nikon's branding. Now, I don't know if Nikon actually has branding like this 
or if I'm tripping. But just the beauty of it, I'm really starting to love in my heart, like really love lenses, like just being fascinated by lentils, fascinated by contact lenses, fascinated by the fact that we have vision. Um, I don't understand some people don't have vision, but making, helping them paint a picture essentially with music is also part of my passion. And also accessibility and like saying things and telling stories, not only like telling them visually, but audibly as well. And you know what? The, my obsession with Nikon and lenses and lentils and contact lenses and all this stuff, it just keeps adding to the story of how much I love life and how much I appreciate life and how much vlogging and photography helped me tell the story of loving life so that people could see beautiful things in their own lives because I find so much beauty in the simple things and we should all find beauty in the simple things and sometimes the most simple things are the most complex. Like the sun, we think it's simple and it's like so complex. And sometimes those complex things, we sum them up as simple and it, when we just zoom out and just look at it from our perspective, we're just like, wow, it's so little, it's so simple, it doesn't cost money, it's outside all the time. Wow. I don't know. Um, But I need to stop saying I don't know if I know what I'm talking about. But <clears throat> I guess that's a way to like, um, take like, like, oh, my stomach is growling. Just to like take back like how valid the things you say are. And you're just like, I don't know. Do I qualify to say something and have a voice of my own? Yes. Anyway. Um, cause we all have unique perspectives. Anyway, let me cop this $40 or something. Let me get some money on Grinder, and let me play the game so that I can order some Denny's. I want some DoorDash. Denny's. I'ma order egg. Y'all, I know that's not vegan, but I'm hungry. I want egg and broccoli. That's so good. With a lot of black pepper and a little bit of syrup. So good. But you gotta play the game. Well, I gotta play the game. And I'm going to, because enough is enough of that broke shenanigans. Like, I need to take care of myself and the people I love. Okay, dramatic. Like, I need to turn off the light while filming. I gotta take care of myself and the people I love. And you know what? Um, Today, just wearing my contact lenses, I had to. I had to wear them because I was like, I don't want to wear glasses on my first day that I'm venturing out of the world since I had this little cold, you know what I mean? Like not venturing out of the world, but venturing into the world, venturing out of my room and into the world. Um, I, it's a special occasion. We got our special occasion shoes on um, cause I ain't got no other shoes that I can wear outside cause these other ones smell. And then obviously my pink sandals, like how I'm gonna wear those outside. And then, um, Look at this beautiful little plant. We got a whole effing little, little zoo in here. By the way, I'm loving BBC's videos. Not, not big, you know, um, not BBC like that in a provocative way, but BBC the channel, they have like a nature series or something where like they showed a video of these, of these little monkeys snatching phones. It's the effing cutest thing in the world. Why am I being performative right now for the camera? I don't know. Anyway, <clears throat> maybe I should talk more non-performative and more subdued. Just kidding. Anyway, so um, basically, I love the, the way that they film. They film with lights, I think, like extra lights. They film, like they put Foley, like sound effects, and like they overdub things, like um, make it sound real fancy and nice. But honestly... They really bring it when it comes to filming. Their their videos are not like super contrasty, but they have enough contrast. It reminds me of the videos I saw when I was growing up. These days, people want to film professionally and they don't add color to their to their log footage or their raw footage. And it's like, the footage looks gray. Like what the F, add contrast and saturation. Not me being a diva or rude, but for real, like professional video has color and, and contrast. And sometimes it could be desaturated intentionally, but I feel like a lot of people are just, you know, filming in raw 
or log or whatever, which is kind of similar to raw, I guess. And then they don't, they don't add any punch to it. No color, no contrast, and it's like no sharpness. Like what the F? Add some effing sharpness. Don't you remember in the film days, everyone had like sharp glass lenses and now it's like people are not making things sharp anymore. But BBC, now they are doing it right, boo.